Hey everyone, recently Italy has put new restrictions on us due to COVID and things have been slow for us over here so we can't really do anything. But in this episode, the kids are back home for virtual school and we celebrate Thanksgiving. So after such a good start to the school year, we were disappointed to find out that we were going back to virtual school for a little bit. So now we've been doing virtual school for maybe around, I don't know, three weeks to a month, something like that. But the kids have adapted really well. I like virtual school more than normal school. It takes less time and I don't have to do as much work. And also, I don't have to wear a mask. So though nobody was really thrilled about the kids doing the virtual school here, I guess it's better safe than sorry. Um, I know a lot of the community kind of thought it was an overreaction, but I'd rather them overreact in the safe direction than in the wrong direction. Now that I've been doing virtual school for a couple of weeks, I kind of miss Signella. It's not too bad, and the boys have been handling it really well. Well, I guess they have been. I'm not really the one home with them. I don't mind having my kids back home for virtual school, even if it's just for a little bit. I mean, they're good independent learners. They got all their stuff done. They don't really complain. And it's been really good for me so far. I really thought it was going to be the opposite. For some reason in Italy, Italians don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't know why. Thanksgiving in Italian is Grengraziamento. Grengraziamento. Agazzo. Gazzo. The best part about Italians not celebrating Thanksgiving is that their schools were open. So we took Evan to school during the holiday. I want to do that. We have no shame, perché dovevamo pulire, cucinare, e dovevo giocare videogiochi con gli altri miei bambini. I didn't really know what to expect for Thanksgiving this year. I couldn't decide if I wanted to plan something like a big dinner and traditional, or if I just wanted to relax at home with the kids. On Thanksgiving, my mom and I cooked. I really wanted to incorporate the kids in the traditions with me, but Max had zero interest in cooking. He just wanted to enjoy his day off that he'd been looking forward to, even a day off from virtual school, and play video games. Bozy, on the other hand, is my budding little chef. He loves to get in there. He loves to crack the eggs is his favorite part. He loves to use the rolling pin. He's great at scooping and measuring, so I had him help me prepare actually a lot of the dishes and he was actually pretty helpful. When Julie said she was gonna cook Thanksgiving dinner for us, I was expecting a lot of things. She likes to cook. I would have not been surprised if we had beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes. You name it! But in the end, she made her traditional dishes, which were really good as well. For Thanksgiving, we had turkey, eat, eat Watergate salad, and cranberries, and some gravy with bread. At Thanksgiving, I played a lot of video games and ate lots of food. So all in all, Thanksgiving was a total success. Uh, we really got to spend some time together as a family and reflect on what we're thankful for this year. There was a point at dinner where Bo was tired of eating Thanksgiving food and said he'd rather just smash his face in it. So I said, go right ahead. Ever the comedian, he went for it. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Now that Thanksgiving is over, holiday season is in full swing. That means Christmas is up next. Or as they like to call it here, Natale. Shadow. 